Good morning students. In our previous video, I have started chapter 2, Self and Personality. In that we have discussed aspect of self and self-esteem in cognitive aspect we were discussing. Esteem basically means your worthiness. Do I value myself? Do I think I am capable? My judgment about my own self is known as self-esteem. By 6 to 7 years, children have formed self-esteem in 4 areas. First is social competence, second is cognitive competence, third is physical appearance and fourth one is physical competence. These are four areas. So, children start development right from the age, seven years of age. How does it de develop? Here is one question, how does it develop? Well, parenting play very important role here. Suppose parents try and intervene in a way child studies or time a child devotes to play with his or her friend. Normally children do not like it. The in, uh, at the same time, if their intervention is restricted when they criticize the child, when they reject the child, when they pass comments to the child, their ideas and intention of parents is perfectly fine. But they want to improve in your child. That's why they are doing. It may not may, may not be a natural style, but its impact on children uh, is very good. Child believes on parents. What parents says? If parents says that you can't do it, you can't do that. Then children believes on it. That's why this uh, the role of parents in developing self esteem is very high so next concept comes in behavioral aspect it talks about self-efficacy and self-regulation so here is self-efficacy self-efficacy is the extent to which a person believes they themselves control the outcomes or the outcomes are controlled by luck or fate or other situational factors do I think I can control situation? Do I think I can effective? I am effective. Do I think I am effective? What do I think about my abilities to do a task? For example, a girl who does not study so much. But when I ask questions, so she has thought that I can definitely answer. Means she, she believes that she has the ability to give answer. So a person who believes that she or he has the ability or behavior required by a particular situation demonstrate high self-efficacy. The notion of self-efficacy is based on Bandura's social learning theory. Bandura had given this concept of self-efficacy. He shows that children and adults learn behavior by observing and imitating others. So society and parents and own positive experiences can help in the development of a strong sense of self-efficacy by presenting positive models during the formative years of children. Now, next is self-regulation. It talks about, basically, it's a, I am regulate my behavior. So, self-regulation refers to the ability to organize and monitor one's own behavior. People who are able to change their behavior according to the demands of the environment are high on self-monitoring. Self-control is learning to delay or refers the gratitude, gratification of needs. Willpower is the ability to respond to situational pressure with resistance and control over ourselves. Self-control plays a key role in fulfillment of long-term goal. And Indian culture, Indian culture tradition provides certain effective mechanisms, fasting in a virata or rosa, and non-attachment with worldly things for developing self-control. So, some techniques of self-control are here, but we will discuss all these techniques next time. Thank you.